Hey, boat junkies, we're out here at the property today. We got an e-bike on our hands. Our good buddy Brad loaned this to us to see if it'll hold up to the property. We wanna see if it can go up the hills, get to all of our hardest stands, and we're just looking for a different way to get into the property, be quiet, be sneaky. It piqued my interest. We're gonna put it to the test today, tell you all about it, and hopefully at the end of the video, it's either gonna be a thumbs up or thumbs down. We'll see how it goes today. Let's go. All right, so this is a Venton Adventure bike. This is their Series 1. It's got a 750 watt motor. So to turn it on, your main battery's right here. You're just gonna click that button and then I don't know if you can see it, but it'll turn blue. They'll let you know it's got a fully charged. I believe that light changes color the more you ride it. You have a power switch right here on your controller. And then as you can see, your display comes up, shows your miles, your trip. It's a bunch of other stuff in the app, but we're gonna keep it real simple today just to see if this bike does a good job on the hunting property. So you can tell right here, you have the assist. You can control it one through five. And all that is is how much the electric motor assists you, or if you don't want to pedal all, you simply got a throttle right here. You push it and she takes off. Do have a gear changer just like your normal mountain bike. Like I say, we're no bike enthusiasts. We just want something good to get in here and hunt, have a good time, see if it can make it up these hills. We got the hardest stand to go to. We're gonna try first. We got a big hill to climb, a couple of ditches, bridges across. It ought to be entertaining. Hopefully I don't bust my butt. Let's see what it does. Most of all our are pretty easy to get to. This will be the only one that, you know, you got to cross a pretty good size, you know, hill dropping off in the mud hole. I want to say it's like a 20, 25% grade. We checked it with the truck earlier, so I don't know how really accurate that is. But right now I got it on power assist two. We're cruising at about 10 miles an hour, barely pedaling. Like I say, there's no really load on the pedals when you're riding. Now we come up to this hill. We're just gonna pedal like normal. I'm not gonna stand up. I'm not gonna try to force it. You know, cause I'm trying to think, you know, hey, I might have hunting clothes on. So have my rifle on my back, backpack. I don't want to make it to where it's such a struggle. It's uncomfortable or hard to do. So we're coming down the first hill. This is to drop off in the bottom. This bike has dual hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. Pretty loose gravel, but it's not too sketchy. A little bumpy. Here we go. See what it's got. So I am putting some effort in, but nothing crazy. Pulled it pretty good. Still doing 10 miles an hour. Like right now, using just the throttle, no pedal. Another little heel, nothing to this one though. Now, I do notice it does have fenders that are kind of a thin aluminum. They do make a little racket when rocks come up and hit it. So if I was to get one, I'd probably have to like, you know, put a truck bed liner or some kind of something to dampen the sound basically. So pretty much that one big hill is going to be the toughest, you know, terrain we have. I'm going to slow it down to power assist one. I'm going to try to quietly sneak up here to the stand. Pretty straightforward. Of course, we got the grill on the wall, so it would be no trouble to hide this bike underneath this stand. We made it. Time to shoot a big deer now. We're gonna head back to camp, but I'm gonna take a little detour. We're gonna go down in the woods, kind of one of our back roads, cross a couple little bridges and gullies, and just see how the bike does. You know, not everybody's terrain is gonna be the same, so I'm kind of anxious to see, you know, how well it pulls some of these hills and trying to ease through the woods. I mean, it is quiet. I mean, literally the leaves are the loudest thing you make noise with. Other than my camera crew behind me, that can is pretty loud. And it is some, I mean, it's kind of a learning curve to get used to riding it because, you know, the power comes on kind of delayed, which is real, real smooth. And you really don't think it would be like, I'll be honest, this bike's way stronger than I thought it was. And I mean, it's plenty for what we're wanting to do, what it looks like at least. Easing down this little hill, it's a couple of washed areas, so just kind of pick your path wisely. Watch out for sticks. Go across our little bridge. We got a little incline here.
no problem. Easing up on our little mud hole food plot, looking good. Finally got some rain down here, so we got fertilizer. Mike got fertilizer put on all the little plots, and now we got to do the same for the big plots today. A little bit of loose dirt, nothing too to old fat tire. Now, I'm not gonna ride like a Cadillac, it rides like a bike, so be prepared for that, which is better than most. But I would definitely invest in a good squishy seat. So, right now, we're pedaling at about 10 miles an hour, and I have literally zero resistance as far as me having to put in effort. I mean, it's just basically like ghost pedaling, like you're just pedaling to be pedaling, you're not really putting in any effort. Now, we're gonna come up to a pretty steep little incline to get back on the road and then we got one more big hill to pull and we'll be back at camp. I'm going to increase it to CS5. We're going full bore. Again, sitting down, putting a little effort into the pedal, not a lot, pulls the hill just fine. See what we can get up to coming up back to the house. We got a drag race going. Eat rubber, red liver lips. So we went up the steepest hill on the property, went across the bridge, crossed all the little ditches, done really, really well. Now we're gonna get the rest of the Buck Junkies feedback, see what their thoughts are. Maybe catch one of them falling, that'd be even more entertaining. We'll see what they think. Oh, e-bike is flat go. You got to pedal a little bit, but it's not terrible. Better than old tuck feed. <laughs> All right, so we took the e-bike out. We made it up the hills. It got us to the stand. And I'm actually pretty blown away with how well it handled the hills, the ditches, the bridges, everything on our property. A couple of things I may not have covered on this bike is it actually does have front suspension. And then this one here, Brad's actually added a seat suspension underneath. So it doesn't have rear suspension, but it does have a shock absorber built in the seat. It actually rode pretty dang good. So we're gonna continue putting it through the paces here at the farm today. I'm gonna run it, check on some deer cameras, everything like that. But right now I'm pretty impressed. Do a little bit more research, hopefully get me one order in the next few days. We'll be hunting on e-bike this year, taking y'all along with us. Y'all make sure to check out the podcast, get all the details on it, what the guys thought about it. We still got a lot to do today at the farm. I'm gonna put this e-bike to work, but we'll see y'all next time. Buck junkies, get an e-bike.